While October is National Disability Employment Awareness Month, a Rockford nonprofit is focused on that every day. Jess Lipson stopped by to learn more about a program giving people opportunities. So I've been working here pretty much on um, day one since um, the store opened. Eric Corey reached the milestone of 10 years working at the Northern Illinois Goodwills. Eric has cerebral palsy. He's part of the program offering people with disabilities an opportunity to get real work experience. I like sort sorting like, like different like the different the different toys um toys duties books that we get. I just uh, assist with anything that they might need, um, their work skills. Um, they do a lot of books, scanning, rejecting books, and I just kind of am there on the sideline if I, um, they have any questions. A lot of them are. All of them are independent, too, um, and I'm just there for guidance. Elena Sobleski leads the Goodwill Supported Employment Program, working with each individual on a day-to-day -day basis. She also assists them in getting jobs outside of the program. I know that working with people with disabilities, it's challenging, and not everybody's accepting um, in the outside positions. So um, if a job is available and I can help them, then it just it warms my heart. The program, Let's Go to Work, gives opportunities to greet customers, organize stock, and more. Eric told me how he goes about helping customers. Yeah, and like I said, I always seem to ask, like, is there anything I can help you with? Um, and, and is there anything, like, are you looking for anything specific? That kind of thing. Mm. And the next week when they come in for their shift and they don't even have to ask me what they're doing and they just say, Elena, you know what, I'm going to go do this new skill, even if it's something simple like greeting guests. Um, just the excitement and the independence that they gain from that is so overwhelming and it warms my heart so much. So, Reporting in Rockford for your home team, I'm Jess Lipson. You can find more information about the program by checking out this story at mystateline.com.